So we have here number 37. Based on the circuit diagram shown above, what is the values of electric charge and the voltage drop of this capacitor, the three microfarad capacitor, respectively? So we have the following, the charge, microcoulombs, and the voltage. Now to solve this, we have to look for the total capacitance. So let's solve for the total capacitance of a series circuit. So to get the total capacitance, that's 1 over 3 for this capacitor, plus 1 over 6 for this capacitor. To add fractions, we, have, we should have the same um, denominator. So I will write here um, 2 times 2 so that I will have 2 over 6 plus 1 over 6. I will get 3 over 6 or simply one half of the reciprocal of the capacitance. So 1 over C capacitance is equal to one half. Therefore, the total capacitance is just 2, the reciprocal, because this is in the denominator. Okay. Now, once you get the total microfarad, let's solve for the total charge. Now, the total charge has this formula. Let's have another color here. Let's use black. So the total charge is equal to the total capacitance times the total voltage. The total voltage is this, and that's 12 volts. So that's the total voltage. So let's just put the values. We have 2 microfarad, and we have 12 volts. And that means we have a total capacitance, a total charge of 24 micro uh, coulombs. So we use letter C as the unit for coulombs. Why did we compute for this one? It's because of this reason. The charge here, which is 24 micro coulombs, and I mean here also, the total capacitance is 24 microcoulombs. And here also, 24, 24 microcoulombs. The charge in one, in the volts, in the capacitors are all equal. So these are properties of charge in a series, in a series circuit. So therefore, we now know the total coulombs, the total charge coulombs. So these are not answers, A and B. Now we are left with C and D. My answer here is already letter C. Why? Because when it comes to voltage, they are not equal. They add up. They are the sum. So the total voltage in a series circuit of capacitors is V1 plus V2. So definitely, if it has a total of 12, these have smaller values. So these have smaller values. So my answer there is already letter C. But let's compute. So to get the voltage here, to get the voltage, if you have the capacitance and the charge already, to get the voltage, that's Q divided by C. It's just manipulation of this formula. If I put it down in the denominator, so V is equal to Q over C, where 24, and we divide it by 3, that is 8 volts. So this is the answer. The answer is 3C.